Hello again guys. Today we're going to be auditing the auditors. More specifically, drone auditors. We have three auditors, DJ Audits, PJ Audits, and Bird's Eye View Audits. All three of these guys are quite brilliant at educating companies, educating the public, like you and I, educating the police. Why? Because they know the law and they know their rights. And so they teach us that. So let's go sequentially and we'll start off with some clips from DJ Audits. Have you got a drone over my site? Yeah, well done. Honestly, fuck off now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who the Come fuck on, do you on. think you are? Whoa. Get away from me. Chill. Just chill. We're having a conversation. Fortunate. He's not. Just How dare you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get off my sight. Get that drone off my sight. Does side. it look like I'm on your sight? Oi. Just chill. You can get away from me, mate. I've, we've had a conversation. Chill. Don't you ever come to my personal space again. What, what are you going to do? All three of these guys stand their own ground. They stand their own ground for a very good reason. Because they're perfectly legal to do what they do. For the most part, the public do not know that. Company representatives do not know that. The police often do not know that. And so they become highly antagonistic. They don't realize that the airspace over a particular building that they might be working out of is not restricted. There's no law that says that you cannot fly over it with a mini drone. And so people become very angry and frustrated, like you just seen in that video. Talking on his radio. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in this situation if we get the drone up and uh, yeah, let's go from there. So three minutes into the drone flight and the PCO, PCSO 6573 Adams wants to have a little conversation. Yeah. Can you tell me what drone you've got please sir? Yeah, it's a DJI Mini 2, 249 grams. And do you have our operator's license? Yes I do, yeah. I, do. And you, I was definitely supposed to put it with you, have you? Uh, well, the number is, has to be written on the drone. Ah, right. By law. Okay. So it's a DJI? DJI Mini 2. 249 grams. Grams. So, and your name is sir? Uh, am I obliged to give my name? No, I was just asking. All right, I, I've been polite with you so far, yeah, told no. you the details of the drone. Yeah. Obviously, I'm not obliged to do that either, but I've just been polite with yourself so far. Oh, fine, thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, is your body camera on? Yes. It you do have to tell the members of the public that it's on. Okay, it is on, sir. It is recording. You're recording me. Um, so, yeah, it is recording you. Yeah, um, the fact that I'm recording you is irrelevant. Okay. Before you talk to a member of the public, you must tell them that is on. I'm corrected, sir. All right. Thank you very much. Have you got your designation card on you at all? I don't have it with me, no, sir. By law, you have to carry it. Okay, sir. So, an interesting interaction with the PSO or with the police. If you notice, DJ does not give his name. He doesn't give his name for a good reason. The reason is he hasn't committed a crime. <laughs> Another thing that I find interesting is this. They don't teach us what our legal rights are as far as the police are concerned. You would think that it would be part of the education system. That we would be taught these things about our civil rights at a very early age. But as far as the police are concerned, they seem to neglect that part they don't give us that information Hello. I'm from the speech here. yeah what, just key distance doing? not good for the camera when you get too close oh I'm sorry what, what are you doing filming around here whatever I want just asking that's all yeah I know you are okay if, if, if somebody wants to take an interest in what's going on okay. they don't have to answer to the police about it and this is partially why I find it so fascinating with the drone auditors uh, DJ PJ and Bev, bird's eye view, they mirror the law back to us. In fact, 
I would perceive all three of them as being educators. They educate us about our legal rights. Have you got your operator ID for your drone? Now the operator ID has to be written on the drone itself. And as yeah. you know, that's in the air at the moment. Okay, yeah. so can if you, you bear with me. Can you land it for me? I'll land it in my own time, but bear with me and I'll show you that, all right? No, how long then? Well, the battery is gonna last, um, battery only lasts about five minutes. All right. Five minutes, yeah? Yeah, about five minutes left on the battery. So and you're then, gonna land it in five minutes? Yeah, of course I will, yeah. Yeah, I'm happy to wait five minutes. I ain't got an issue with that. Okay, that's good. very so nice of you. Yeah. You're saying it's on the drone, yeah? What, have By you... law, it has to be printed on the drone. Yes and that's why I'm asking. Um, that's fine, five minutes, that's fine. So 21 now, Yeah. we're at five minutes to the 26. That's a reasonable deal, isn't it? Sorry? That's a reasonable deal. That's a reasonable... Uh... Yeah, I said I'm happy with that, didn't okay. I? So yeah. I'll leave you to it then. Just, yeah. just concentrating at the minute. No, that's fine. Just step back a bit, please. Um, if you want to step back, you can. Oh, so you approach me, but you expect, expect me to no, step back? I'm happy with Okay, that. okay. So, yeah. I'll step back, mate, no problem. I'm not what being... filming then? Hold on, I just said I'm concentrating. Sorry? I just said I'm stepping back to concentrate. Yeah. You wouldn't no, surely ask me a question after that, would you? No, I'm just asking. Come on, mate. I'm, I'm concentrating yeah. at the minute, mate. I'm, yeah. I'm in mid-flight. Come on, be polite. Yeah. I'm a pilot. Yeah. You don't want to interrupt me too much, do you? Okay. All have right. You got, uh, so Hold on. Have you got, have Please you respect my wishes. Five minutes yeah. Yeah. and you can talk, yeah? No, I'm just asking. All right, thank question, you. Yeah. So do you live locally around here, then? I'll talk to you in five minutes, mate. Police officers often have assumed authority over you, but knowing your legal rights gives you a huge amount of confidence. You're acting within the law. You have nothing to be concerned about. You can hear the confidence with DJ backing this police officer off. So now let's switch to PJ audits and take a look at some of his interactions. I'm all right, Doc. How are you? Yeah, it's bad. Um, everything all right? Yeah, yeah, everything's fine, Doc. The DJI, Mavic? Mini 3, yeah. Mini 3, right, aren't they? Yeah, awesome. Are you, um, what, what are you planning on filming? The yard. Right, so you obviously know you're not allowed to, um, you've got a licence? Yeah. You obviously then know you're not allowed to go over top of public or people without permission? Yeah, I am. And what, why would you think that? Because I've done the course and I know the law. I know yeah, the you, rules. You can't fly it within a certain distance. What's the distance you can fly within people? As close as I like because it's a sub-250 grand zone. No, it's not. that's not true, that. You need to redo it's the... It's got a camera on it. It doesn't matter. It you does. need... If, if don't come it. telling me what I can what, and I what, can't do. I've done the course. Well, what I'm, what I know I'm exactly is. what I can do. I do this for a living. Right, so I don't need you to come and tell me what I can and can't do. Well, I'm not telling you what you can and can't do. Yeah, yeah, you're just telling me I can't fly within a certain... Well, what you need to that if it's got a camera that can record things... Right. ...then you need to be within a certain distance of people... No, I don't. OK, well, all I'm asking then is that you don't fly over the top of all land. Why is that? Because it's private property... It doesn't matter. ...and you fly it over the top of people where people are working. It doesn't matter. Well, it does. No, it doesn't. I can fly wherever I like as long as it's uncontrolled airspace. Well, well, look, you might believe that and that's fine, but all I'm saying is I'm pointing out to you that at the minute you're flying over the top of our people and that's potential danger to uh, our staff and our vehicles and our property. No, it's not. Well, that, unfortunately, that's what I believe it to be. So well, you I'm believe what you want, my friend. Who are you? So, PJ, once again, he knows he's perfectly legal. You have a guy here who's saying, this is what I believe. It doesn't matter what people believe. It matters more essentially what is legal and what is lawful. Well, one day I was out videoing this uh, haulage company and this police officer came along and insisted that I gave him my details, even though it no reason to take my details. I wasn't under arrest. I wasn't accused of anything or anything like that. Uh, but he insisted that the law said I had to give him my details. Watch the video and let me know what you think. How you doing? I'm alright, how are you? I'm absolutely awesome. Just to let you pay for now, I'm recording your say. That's alright, I'm recording you, my friend. Can I have, can I have your details, please, sir? Uh, no. Why won't you give me your details? Because I don't want to and I don't have to. By law, you do actually do, because we've no, been I caught don't. to an incident here, and by law, 
you have to give me your details. So um, why am I under arrest? Not under oh, arrest. Well, then I don't need to, uh, need to give you my details. What, I need to ascertain what's happening here and the purpose of the reason why you're here. Right. And if you can explain that to me, please. I don't have to, mate. I'm taking YouTube videos, and that's all I'm doing. Oh, so you just explain to me. So you take on what? Yeah, you're taking YouTube videos. Yeah, go ahead. If you happen to be arrested for anything, notice that the police will say you have the right to remain silent and anything that you do say might be used in evidence against you. Well, if you happen to be perfectly legal and innocent, you also have that similar right as well to remain silent. Or, like PJ just done, you can be polite and courteous and answer some basic questions but notice he did not give his name so let's move on to the third drone auditor bird's eye view bev for short back with another video this guy cracks me up he's quite brilliant at putting people in their place it's a security issue yeah. on my behalf because but that's, then, that's well, let me finish. paranoia no, by yourselves, that, no, isn't it? No, it's not. Yeah. No, it's not. It's just, this is what we're trained in. Yeah, I know. We are you trained. secure with us on the ground. You don't secure with us in the sky. It's not. It's not just that. If we got people that's standing outside our gates, taking yeah. drones and taking pictures of the site. There's nothing you can do. Yeah, but then they can take pictures, they can have a look at whatever they, they yeah. want or basically. Yeah. There's no law against it. But then what I'm saying is it's a security breach, so what they're watching, and that's when it can come in suspicious behaviour. Yeah. And then I can phone someone then to if, come and collect you because if, I'm sorry, but that's just not. If the police came here, I will assure you they will do nothing. There's nothing they can do. It wouldn't be police. I'd I'd phone the hotline. Yeah. Well, you 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 do you go do your job, which is understandable. But like I said, I'm going to do everything from out there, past the gate, on the public footpath. I'll send the drone up and put the drone right through the site. Have a look what's going on. Do some video, do some... You see, what Bev, Bird's Eye View, knows, which this lady does not know, is that even though they might be private with inside the gates of the company, they don't control the airspace. They, they can't claim the skies. They have no jurisdiction over that whatsoever. All right? Yeah, we just asked to ask what you're doing. Um, Watch out with them, mate. Yeah, no, I haven't come out. You, you come out quick, you know? What? You come out quick. Oh, we just had a consumer in front of you. We were worried that the consumer of the lorries might run you over or something. Run me over? Yeah, not in the uh, just because... Uh, I'm capable of looking after myself, mate. I've crossed roads for 30, 50 years. Do you mind me asking what you, what you plan on doing then? What do they look like? I'm not being funny, mate. What do you look like? I can say to them, what do you look like? I'm not sure how the Huh? Well, if a drone's on the floor by there, right, yeah. I'm not going to be filming over there, am I? I, 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 I I'm going up and I'm going up and going over there. You're going into their property to film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Why? Yeah. Well, because I want to. I like. Have you had permission or come to go into their property now, to film? Now, I probably know more more about the law than you do. Then the oh, way you, the way you the way you're speaking over there now, right? Yeah, okay. I can fly that over there. What what what's what's, what's, what's going to stop me? Um, I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Right, that's what I'm telling you. They haven't got no authority to stop me. Or you haven't. Because I'm making a video. Okay. I'm taking four of you to come out to see me with a man with a camera. No, they just no, There's people go up and down here with dash cams every day. Do you stop yeah. them? No, that's fine. Because that's fine. On the main road. Ah? It's um, public I'm, property. I'm on the public road. And I'm standing in public. Alright, no so I'll check. Um, see if you can't play the door over there. As I said, I don't know. Well, you can check yeah. if you want to. I'm, I'm going to be doing it now in the next five, ten minutes. Yeah, well, I shall check. Stay with me. Okay. No worries. Yeah, you're only doing your job now. Good God, guys, haven't you got anything better to do? Seriously, now, right? You've, you've come out within seconds of me being here. Now, I called the police the other day, right? Because it was a, it was, it was a problem. Do you mean? Okay, yeah. Some of the antisocial behaviour. They come the next day. I can only say, <laughs> Did you hear what Bev said? Bird's eye view in that clip? He said to the lady, policewoman, I know more about the law than you do.
<laughs> this, <laughs> you would think that the police are actually up with drone laws or up with the rights of citizens to film in public, but they're not. And therefore, drone pilots, they get challenged all of the time, which does not mean that that is a bad thing. All these three auditors give us not only an education, but also an insight into the lacking of knowledge of an awful lot of people, including the police, of course. And as well, they happen to rattle a lot of egos along the way. I'd like to thank DJ Audits, PJ Audits, and Bird's Eye View Audits, Bev. Thanks, guys, for watching the video. Give us a like, give us a share. Tell us what you think in the comments, and I will catch you next time.